What the f <laughs> Oh! Oh, that motherfucker. Oh my god! Come on. <laughs> oh my god! I was so upset that she died! I owe you. Oh my god! <laughs> what? Why am I getting so emotional right now? Like, over these games. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. Oh. <laughs> uh. Come on. Oh, wow, okay. You hear that? Shit. See, those premonitions can trick you. You know, the premonition of like Jamie getting smushed. Like, oh, it's just, yeah, they they just confuse everything. <laughs> they don't make things any clearer at all. Like the curator. Ah. <laughs> uh. Uh, God, I can't believe that. I'll be so upset if they die now, oh, after hurry. all that. It's square, so... Oh. Shit. How did that happen? Fuck, uh, head! Get away from me! I mean, I would have ran, I would not have hid. I mean... Stop talking, Kate. Did I almost fuck up just then? Or was that just the game? Really? Okay. Again. Um, where am I running to? Like, where am I gonna go? Shit. 
it. All right. Fuck. Triangle. Run. Shit. I mean, save Flea, save. Baby, run! Fuck. Stay away from me. Shit. What? I like I didn't do that on purpose I was like I'm I think I accidentally pressed it while I was mashing your ass, Kate. get up oh, fuck I, Ow. I can't it's not optional he's coming let's go run fuck come on Yeah, Kate. Are you okay? I'm in one piece. Oh, okay. Um, is this... I think it's fine. I don't think the light... Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought my light fucked up. Alright, I don't think this is the type of game where the light matters, you know? Um, I think we're fine. Um... Oh, fuck. That was very stressful. I think I need to take a, just a little bit of a break. <laughs> oh. oh, wow, we're full. We're full um, health. <laughs> we're full relationship with Jamie. Of course, we'd be like best friends now. All right. Um, can we die here? Like if we stay here for too long? Honestly, if we die here because we've stayed here too long, I'm going to reload it. Only way out is through. Is he gonna be here? Is it gonna be like boof? Surely not. Like it's gone on for a little bit too long. Not too long, but it's gone on for long. Come on, where's my lie? I guess this maze was a cute garden feature once. 
Yeah, I'm not gonna remember that. I'll find my own way out. Only psychopaths have mazes. No. What? Oh, this is a dead end. Oh, okay. This is supposed to be a way out. Yeah, climb up here. You freak. Up there? <laughs> um, we've traversed higher ledges than this before. Why can't we go up? I don't understand. Okay. See, these sections are extremely annoying because of the light. Because the light is uncooperative. Is what? Like just this whole situation? Or... I agree. It's icky. We can climb through there. <laughs> Fuck off, curator. <laughs> what was that book you lent me? Navigating the Maze of Anxiety? Yeah, well, I could sure use that now. You know, it wasn't about mazes. Yeah, I got that bit. Look, I don't want it to come across as if I thought you had a problem. Just sometimes when I'm going through a shitty time, I just assume that everyone else is too. I know. It was good. You read it? Yeah, yeah. Read all of it, actually. Are you serious? Yeah, I mean, not much of a plot, you know, not much character development, but some good stuff in there. It helped. Good. I'm glad. I gave a copy to Charlie, but I don't think he's got round to opening it yet. Huh. Hmm. Everyone goes through hard times. Cecile. I know he's your son, but I married you for you, not your son. Besides, it's ex-wife's responsibility to stop him from doing stupid things, not mine. Um... Oh, I don't know. I think I'm maybe just depressed already because of this trip. It's not what I had in mind when you said you were taking me away to a secret island. I don't care if he is Harrison Lee, the famous horror fictic, fictic writer. You only work for him. You don't have to go on vacation with him too. Can we spend some time, just the two of us? Cecile. Dear Kurt, I thought it would be easier to write this down because I get upset when I try to talk to you about it when... About it, I'm in... I uh, talk to you about it, I'm in distress. You know, I don't get along with Thomas. I just don't get why we have to take him everywhere with us. By your own admission, he is a fucking nightmare, and it's getting me down having him around all the time. So where was that shiny thing up here? Oh. Actually, I want to go up, up first. Oh no, I can't. There's a barbed wire. Alright, well down it is. What's that? Oh. Okay. Cool. Oh, wow. Uh, okay. Is that like an electric thing or? Maybe we can get this thing working. Alright, let's follow the cords. Why, so why can't I press that one? Right. 
turn the music off. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. I guess let's go down here. Good morning, Chicago. We begin today with some breaking news. Chicago police today confirmed the body of a man found in a fire at an abandoned warehouse in the Fulton River District to be that of missing FBI agent Hector Monday. Monday has been identified as the shoeshine killer whose recent killing spree struck fear into the hearts of locals in and around Chicago. A spokesperson for Chicago PD confirmed Monday murdered four victims, including yesterday evening police officer Patrick Stanley, a dedicated veteran of 22 years. The fire was brought under control shortly before 5 a.m. this morning. The body recovered at the scene was burnt beyond recognition, but police identified Monday from dental records. Mm -hmm. So what's his name? Fuck, I don't remember that killer's name. So he really got to you, hey? Um, that guy inspired, that was inspired by H.H. H. Holmes. Yeah, Sherman. A tape from an FBI interview between Special Agent Monday and Manny. Manny Sherman. Mm. Sherman talks about the methods he used to kill his victims, yeah. So Sherman really got to you, didn't he, Monday? Weak. You want a drink, Jamie? Let's have one. I think we need it. No. No, we need to be... We need to be on our game. Oh, I'm so glad they're both alive. So we're only really... We're only one down. Erin, I don't see how we could have... I'll probably end up seeing on YouTube after I finish this how to have all characters survive. How? I was too scared not to do anything because I didn't want to lose them both, you know? those things um they're H.H. H. Holmes's uh is one of them gonna be him right yep just chill like come on like I think we've proven ourselves worthy to survive <laughs> fuck what are we doing <laughs> we better not have just died that would piss me off You can't barricade the, He's got a fucking axe. And I resent the game. And then the little passive aggressive things on the corner. Panicky. Fucking. Mm, it's like. Excuse, 
A man is chasing me with an axe, bitch. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> fuck you, game. Oh, now we have light. Okay. I don't remember Mark having a light. He just had his silly little camera thing. Alright. Ugh. Something down there, I think. Jesus. Yes. Mm-hmm. Where's Charlie? How are we get we're gonna run into Charlie, aren't we? That's gonna be the jump scare. Cause it can't be Holmes, cause he's busy. What happened here? Yeah. Let's go check it out. <laughs> What's that? Curator, settle down. Calm down. Quit flapping. Quit flapping. <laughs> Harrison and Lois Lee. Wedding ring. Oh. Hmm. Okay. That was a close call, Mark. What's that? What the hell? What? The blood? Yeah. I mean, given what we've been seeing, it's not... Okay. Alright, that's the way out. Cool, cool, cool. I do not appreciate surround sound when I'm playing scary games. <laughs> like, oh. Uh, uh. Shit. Oh, Fuck. Shit. That was close. I think if I'd have to pick, I think that Mark would have had it the easiest so far. Sorry Mark, I need to just get this coin. I won't be long. I won't be long. Stupid noises. Mark. Mark. Hello. It's over here. Shit, that's a dog. Fuck. Is it a wolf? Is it a wild dog? Shit. Examine. Two coins! We've scored the jackpot, Charlie! Oh. Oh. 
Oh my god. Um. Uh, Alright, let's leave. Let's just go. I don't think we can get out of here. No. What about up here? Yeah. Shit. Shit. Yeah. Puppy! It's okay. Bearing updated. What do you mean? Oh my god, I thought the game froze. Oh, that was Connie. Kate found a dog while with an M. Connie. Charlie was chased by a dog. Ah, oh, it's Connie. Salmon. What's the try? Watch the time. Close. <laughs> what the hell? Charlie? You lost. We broke a ribs. Charlie, I, I thought you were dead. I nearly was. I'm sorry for that. I, I thought. How the hell did you make it out here? Yeah, good to see you too, mate. Mm -hmm. I nearly got fried, you know. I know. We saw it. You saw it? What the hell does that mean? How exactly do you get out of that? Where are the others? Mark, are they, are they safe? Aaron is dead. What? Dumek killed her. Oh, Jesus Christ. What have I got us into here? Yeah. You tell me, Charlie. What have you gotten us into? We were all separated trying to get out. Dumet has the entire place rigged with traps. We followed right into his game. We have to get out of here. Get back to the ferry. Dumet disabled it. We all agreed we'd head for the lighthouse if we can't signal for help. I don't suppose there's any good news. Actually, I never thought I'd say this again. Um. Gonna give him a heads up. Or are you gonna squish him? All right. Uh, what's over the shimmy? Oh, no, yeah, shimmy. Yeah. Oh my God! Come on, <laughs> Mark. I'm just going up here. You know, just just to let you know. a tease for the next game spaced all right card time card time come on Medical history, patient's name, Monday, Hector Wayland, family physician, Charles Brown, MD. I saw Hector, seven-year-old male, in my office today. He was accompanied by his mother, who informed... So Hector is the son. Is it the son that's the killer? No, it's the detective. 
Yeah, it's a detective. I remember when that um, cop was knocking on his door and then it... He was accompanied by his mother who informed me that Hector is complaining of feeling sick and very tired. Upon examining Hector, he appears to be mildly undernourished. He's underweight and has very pale skin. Mother also prescribed 2 mg diazepam, diazepam tablets to be taken up to 3 times a day when required. I saw Hector, 7 year old male in my office today as a follow up to a recent hospital admission for acute bronchitis. Hector has collapsed during school lessons. Hector is recovering well from the virus in the two weeks since hospital admission, which was likely caused by mixing with other children at school while his immune system was weakened by malnutrition. Mal <laughs> I was thinking malnourishment, malnutrition. When examining Hector's chest, I discovered bruising on his underarms and shoulders caused by rough play at school. Hector advised to avoid such activity. Mother advised to refrain from smoking around Hector, especially while he's recovering. I will arrange follow-up appointment in one week. I saw Hector in my office today at my request. Hector has almost fully recovered from bronchitis. Breathing has worsened, caused by significant force. More likely an adult than school friends arranged to follow up in one week. He was accompanied by his grandfather, George. Hector's original bruising has subsided. Grandfather advised that I examine Hector's legs. Ankles swollen with cuts as if he has been restrained. Grandfather suspects that Hector's mother isn't coping. Arrange follow-up with Hector's mother. What the fuck? I think child services, I think, would be notified at that point. That's silly, Charles. You could die just from doing that. That getting cut by that glass. What is that smell? Ugh. Light on, please. Thank you. Dog out here. Yeah, I did too. Scared the shit out of me. You scared him off by panicking, most likely. Her, it's a her. What? How's your hedge? Two victims discovered with head switch. Wow, that's a that's a disgusting title. How's your head? Another gruesome scene was discovered in an abandoned warehouse on the outskirts of Dalton, Georgia. The two victims are believed to be the latest in the homicidal spree of the imaginary killer. Fuck, so many killers! Alongside the two victims, FBI agent Monday reportedly encountered multiple repurposed body parts at the crime scene and appe that appeared to be from past victims. Monday described the macabre anima animatronics uncovered as deranged creations that are an insult to victims' humanity. DNA is yet to confirm if they are in fact the missing body parts of previous victims. Mm -hmm. Shit. Breathing? Oh no, Charlie! Your breathing is gonna give us away. There's no one here, mate. Move on. Oh 
Okay. 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 I love how he's still got his lock. <laughs> Escape the curing facility. Alright. Oh Shit. my god. What? What is he doing? He's preserving his kills. Like a spider. Why? Well, yeah. Because they're valuable to him. The trophies. Keep sex. Dimash sure seems to know a lot. Do you think maybe we're dealing with more than one person? I was thinking that. What do you mean? Ending this place, the weird robots, the traps. Could it be just one man? It's one man. One very driven, very disturbed man. I do know, Charlie. How can you be so sure, Charlie? Fixation, dissection, removal of body fat and water, impreg impregnation, positioning, curing. Mm. Mr. Lee Harrison. 175 subject dead at by asphyxiation subject washed freezing not required as formaldehyde solution has been prepared move to curing house to commence preservation early decomposition has not yet shown obvious deterioration viable specimen for animatronic interrogation formaldehyde fixation solution introduced to subjects cardiovascular system Fixation solution process complete. Four hours, 30 minutes. Subject added to acetone, acetone bath. Re-examination in 24 hours. No issues, issues found with subject in acetone. No signs of rigidity as of yet. Re-examine in 48 hours. Good progress. Signs of rigidity in extremities. Previous subject, Mr. Lewis Harrison, required... Dis disposal in acid bath rigor mortis reached skin causing severe blistering resulting in unviable specimen possibly due to subject smaller stature expediting decomposition delay of fixation commencement or formaldehyde level estimate too low Continued positive progress, extremities fully hardened, extending into stiffness of limbs, re-examining in one week. Limbs 50% hardened, acetone drained and replaced, re-examined in 24 hours. No issues with new acetone replacement, re-examined in one week. Okay. Look up. 
for a male suspect believed to be the Shoe Shine Killer. Suspect is FBI Special Agent Hector Monday. He may be armed and is highly dangerous. Dispatch, this is Officer Martinez. I found Monday's car, requesting backup. Officer Martinez, what's your location? A warehouse on Park Avenue, Fulton River. Looks abandoned. Officer Martinez, back up on its way. Hold your position. Copy that. Shit! He's seen me! Officer Martinez, hold your position. So, did the detective turn into a serial killer because of uh, Sherman and then he started beating his son and then his son became a serial killer too? Because we're hearing a lot about his son at school and then about and then the bruises. Alright, watch out. <laughs> Okay, I think this means death if we fall. Oh my god, Mark, he's scared of heights. Shit. You can do it. Great, thanks, Mark. <laughs> it's alright. I know now not to press X. Okay. X and that's it. Alright, let's go. Let's do this. No. Fuck me. Come on. No. Come on. Yes. Oh. -ho -ho. That would be incredibly annoying to die from falling. <laughs> uh, survived serial killer. I did not survive a ledge. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> yes. All right, good, good, good. All right, we're all good. Oh God. How does, like, I feel like we've made no progress at all. Like, get away from Dumet, okay. Oh my god, come on. Jamie, why are you running like that? <laughs> Oh, this is where we were before. We've been up here. We haven't been down here though. This is where I wanted to get to with Charlie. What's over here? I thought getting outside would make things better. Shit, what the fuck was that? There's something out there. It's a forest. It could be anything. I want to look at the water. I thought that that might have been the progression way, but I want to look over here first. I wonder if he's got cameras out here too. Can you not freak me out any more than I already am? They're short. I give up Charlie's left nut to be in Topeka right about now. Oh, we know her name. Kate knows the dog's name. You hear that? What? Like... Uh, whimpering. Is that... Oh, 
Uh, demanding, help me. I feel like you just need to let the dog go. Why you took it with you in the first place? I didn't tell you to do that. I don't know what happened with the dog. I didn't see. Did he kill it? Kill it? Because it would be interesting if he did it. Think they're here? We need to find a way in. What if they didn't make it? One thing at a time. Yeah, you can't think like that right now, yeah? Let's get inside. Hopeful, time to call for help because you Did you plan this with Dumat? Charlie, hang on. There's something I need to know. Mm-hmm. I can't believe I have to even think it. What? The last thing Aaron did was write mm -hmm. your name. Did you plan this with Dumat? Of course not. How could you even ask me that? Aaron was pretty sure. How? Mm -hmm. Based on what? I don't look at me. I practically died back there, okay? Eric I mean, was played that doesn't somehow. mean anything. You're probably right. I just had to ask. And you have an answer, okay? Can we press on now? Okay. <laughs> I turned my lights down a little because I felt like there were glaring on the screen and I couldn't see that well. Oh. Oh. Alright, that's helped a little bit. Maybe. Charlie's response was a bit weird. But you know, it's hard with a game like this because you don't know if it's intentional, like suspicious on the character's part or if it's just the the bad and the cheesiness of the game you know what i mean like which one is it you know
Evidence, Chicago, Evidence 1612, Westgate, case number, yeah, 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 yeah. 600 hours, I, Officer Frank Hooper, discovered that one or multiple individuals had gained unauthorized access to the evidence room at 1612 West State Street. Among the missing items were assets recovered from the apartment of former FBI agent Hector Monday, including books, clothes, notes, surgical tools, and dental equipment. We are currently running with the theory that this was the direct result of souvenir hunters looking for a piece of memorabilia from the case. End of report. Okay, so I just looked through all the clues and I think I got confused. Hector Monday doesn't have a son. It's Morello who has a son. Hector Monday, the, the letters from Hector at school, that was just him in school. So, yeah, it's just the one guy. Of course! Who was abused by his mother as a kid, one of the letters said. And, um, yeah, he was a detective, he was a Chicago killer and uh serial yeah so okay i got confused with um i'm pretty sure i have it straight now grantham dumet artist i love these business cards like so much information like hi can i call you dumet like it's your business address no just your name okay Hector Waylon Monday. Silver so Spring University of Science and Medicine. This is to certify that Hector Waylon Monday has been awarded a degree in Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Mr. I want there you go. My there you go, Charlie. Dead. I'll give them to you. This weekend. Just do it. I never said any of that shit. More well, out of order, probably. I'm so grateful to you, Mr. Dumas. I want my team to be Yeah. I'll get them that this weekend. Let's do it. I'm such an idiot. I wanted this to work so much, I just accepted everything he said. Yeah. He recut it. Not a yeah. bad job either. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. <laughs> I told you I wasn't lying. It's pretty good editing. Mark was suspicious of Charlie. He wanted to know how Charlie had survived this furnace. Mark found Dumet had created false evidence implicating Charlie in the murders. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if um Jamie's text was real. Not that it really matters now, but Uh -huh. Looks like there may be another boat on the island. Mark and Jennifer Edwards. Nineteen sixty five Clarence, I thought I should write you with the news that you haven't been to see me in six months. You have a son. I gave birth a few weeks ago. I need you back here. I can't do it. This alone, my I can't do this. I can't do this alone. My parents are helping out, but they're both very old now. Come home, Clarence, please, El Mundo. Oh, like how did you even bitch. get there? How did you even anything. get in there? What the hell was that? You alright? Yeah, just a stupid cat. I don't know if I'm missing anything because it's pretty disorienting disorienting around here with this flimsy light, you know. I mean I'm trying to be thorough. Like I think I've gone everywhere. Here we go. Hmm. 
no way. <laughs> Mark, you've come a long way. Hmm? All right. Oh, fuck off, really? Come on. I have to wail in Monday. Grantham, Dumit, Richard Belknap. See, I thought Richard Belknap was the guy who built this place, or did he just use a fake... Yeah. Because I know that, well, the story was that Dumit inherited this from a family member that was a fan or obsessed with H.H. Holmes, but that could just be like a load of shit, you know? Okay, where do we go? Uh -huh. Don't look down. Don't look down. I wonder Don't if um look down. Kate didn't help him uh, fight his overcome his fear of heights. If he would have been able to do this. Oh yes. Tampering with the seal is a federal offense. I'm just turning the power on. Are you fucking kidding me? Huh. So is it on? Turn on. Oh yes, okay. Shit, that was close. Oh my god, really? Alright, 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 come on. Yes. Yes. Ow! Oh. Does that mean people are gonna come? Oh yes, okay. I feel like this is a thing in every, in all of the games. It's that call for help. Hey, hey, guys, up here! It's gonna be, hey, oh, motherfucker. I'm here! What? No! Where? Not that! I want to... the letter! This thing! Yes. Recovered. Dear Mr. Monday, I'm writing to inform you of an issue with plot, uh, blah blah, as the right of intent in it attendment is in your name it is my duty to inform you of a recent incident a burial plot blah blah a patch of soil has been disrupted and this headstone was moved from its base i understand that this is the grave of your late mother lucinda monday therefore i appreciate that this news may be distressing unfortunately on rare occasions local wildlife can cause such disturbances and we suspect that this is the case in this incident incidents as a matter of public safety, it is our duty to ensure the maintenance of our plots is, in, is of a very high standard and we have swiftly corrected the disturbance. There have been no permanent damage. Okay, I do remember that the plot of a dead serial killer, H.H. Holmes, 
I think, or maybe it was another one. Um, I remember that that was disturbed. Yeah, a list of aliases, that's what I thought. Yeah, okay. I did think that, because obviously Dumet and the, and Belknap. Yeah, because he was the one running the the repairs on the place, this place. A letter sent to Hector's Monday's father, which was returned. Hector never knew his father. Lucinda raised Hector as a single parent. Mm. A tape from the FBI interview between Special Agent Monday and Manny Sherman. Monday assaulted Sherman. Yeah. A newspaper cutting stating that Hector Monday was found dead. Police confirmed that he was the Shushan killer. I thought he was the Chicago killer. Or was he suspect? Because of the successful capture of the Beast of Arkansas, Hector Monday was assigned to a new case. Uh, the remains of a girl called Natalie. Her body has been frozen. Natalie is one of Joseph Morello's daughter. Mm. A letter from a cemetery caretaker. Lucinda Monday's grave has been disturbed. Okay, I think that maybe I should have been reading these clues, these secrets, as we got them. An article cut from a local newspaper. Manny Sherman's corpse was stolen from its grave. Yes, that's the one. Ah, oh, so maybe Hector dug it up because Sherman was the one that got into his head, maybe. I think, well, we, we heard it, you know, in the tape. And then he beat him, you know. All right. A psychological report about Hector Monday. There were concerns about his mental state as he had been become obsessed with the killer that he was investigating. Hector was investigating the Chicago killer at the time. Okay, so Sherman was the Chicago killer. Okay. What the fuck is this? <gasps> The boy who loved. You're a selfish monster. Always have been. Hey. Hey. Who are you? The lonely boy loved reading scary stories. Wow. He read scary stories all day and all night. Oh, wow. Alright, I'm... I'm... Yeah. He lived with his mother, but she was very strict. Stop reading that book. The boy was sick of being told what to do. It's not fair. The book gave him an idea. Revenge. The boy sneaked through the house. <laughs> he jumped and shouted, frightened his mother. Rah, ah, he loved scary stories. Ha 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 ha. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Always right to your favorite page. Predictable little shit. I know you. Okay. Yeah, so the recordings in the old person's home. Okay. You see Mark? He's all right. No, he's, he's not. trying to get that bloody light going. Mark? Please tell me you can hear me. Um, I think he's in trouble oh, behind you, Kate. <sighs> So long. Okay. 
Okay, um... There's more than one. Why would you just send one police guy? That's so dumb. What the hell? Oh. I can see them. And we didn't take any photos, so oh well, as long we as them. we're alive. No talking. I said hands where I can see them. Okay. Thank God you're here. You have to help us. Until I know what's happening here, no one moves. Oh my god. Uh the boat. The boat. How is that anxious? Seriously, That's so lady? Seriously, I'm panicking. That's so dumb. Like, I feel like this game just insult. That was kind. That was kind of cool. Christ. That was kind of cool. I like that. That shot. Let's go. No, the gun, the gun, the gun, get the gun, get the gun. Yes, get the gun. Grab the gun. <laughs> uh, reckless. Alright. Fuck, oh, okay. Why is it chill? Oh, the boat! This should work. Oh, thank God. Alright. Oh, it's not working. Starter cord. Of course. Oh, there. <clears throat> work, damn it! Hey, hey, Connie. Good to see you, boy. Come on. Come on. <clears throat> Get the dog, get the dog. Just work. Go. of us survived. That's pretty good. Whew. I'm so happy we got the dog. Oh. Oh. I'm so glad we got the dog. Oh. We made it. Thank God it's over. Not all of us. Yeah. What? No. That's inaccurate. All right. Uh. Shit. All right. 
Fuck, we're going to explode like in the premonition. Uh, just jump, just jump, just jump. Fuck. Yeah. Shit! Oh my god. Uh, fuck you. Yeah. Bullshit. Yeah, alright. Shit. Oh, fuck. Ow. Oh, that kind of hurt. Oh my god, really? Of course we're going to save him. No! Fuck, alright, um... My hand hurts from doing that other one. Oh fuck, come on. Shit, what? What am I doing? Nothing's up! Nothing's up! I can't see anything! Shit. Oh, fuck. Shit. Fuck, I took my ring off. <laughs> We need to jump off. Oh. Fuck. That was close. Fucking hell. My thumb really hurts. <coughs> oh. Is everyone okay? There's some supernatural shit going on there because... <laughs> and we rode, we drove off with that boat. There was no way he could have made it. Was he the original killer? Is he the original H? If that song doesn't put a smile on your face, I don't know what will. We have a non-stop block for your favorite classic rock after this break. No uh, damn conversion. Don't put my ring back on. <laughs> uh, actually, no, it's pretty loose. I'm going to take it off. I don't want it to fuck me oh. up. Shit. Shoot. Shit! Wow, imagine getting run over after all that. <laughs> and I looked up, and there uh. they were just in the middle of the flipping road, waving their hands and arms like a bunch of crazies. And where are you coming in from? Uh, Fort Wayne. Been driving since 3 a.m. Early start. Well, I was trying to get into the port by 8. Oh. Probably not going to make that now, am I? I'd say likely not. You know what? I think I'm going to see about that studio in Brooklyn. See if I can make it work. Yeah. I think that would be great for you. Great for you. Yeah. I suppose I could get used to how they fuck up hot dogs and pizza. What? Well, I have some leads in New York for work. I mean, if that's okay. I I I, I don't want to invite myself if. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, it's fine with me. More than fine. No.
I'm really glad they all survive, or most of them. Need a smoke, buddy? No, we're giving up. Yeah. No, come on. Actually, you know what? I'm trying to quit. Yeah. Who's gonna take the dog, I wonder? Hi curator, I'm sure you're disappointed that everyone's alive, <laughs> while well, most people are alive. I just get that vibe from him, you know, that he's so happy when we die. Grantham Dumant. Are you upset with me? You look upset. <sighs> Are we finally getting some? Oh, you're here. All good things must come to an end. But how good was the end for our crew? Well, pretty good. Most of them survived, but sadly, there was someone who didn't. Yeah, I couldn't help it. So, rest in peace. I don't think. Erin. The new girl surprised everyone with her courage, but now she's gone to the great audio suite in the sky. What about those who survived? Has the experience changed? Them? Yes, it has. Kate had a secret. She was traumatized by something that happened a long time ago. Mm -hmm. But she faced the thing she was most afraid of in the whole world and survived. Perhaps that helped her see how important Mark's love was to her. Jamie learned that she had to trust other people and work with them. Mm -hmm. Mark had to stop waiting for people to tell him what to do. He had to make his own way yes. in the world. And that helped him find his way back to Kate. And Charlie finally understood that leadership is more than ordering the team around. He had to treat them as equals and let them take the lead when the time Yeah, who would right. have thought? <laughs> Treating people like people. I'll tackle the paperwork in the morning. Can you find your own way out? It was, as always, enlightening. I have no doubt we'll meet again in the future. Farewell. In space. What's the killer? What's that? The chain of events are still unclear at this point in time. What Jason? we can confirm is that a little after 7.30, a truck driver was flagged down to render aid. The police were called and quickly arrived on scene. 
The survivors are part of a film crew, Lonnet Entertainment, the team behind the Architects of Murder docuseries. Fuck, man. It seems like as though they got a little too close to their yeah. subject material. And some of them, sadly, did not survive. Thankfully, their ordeal is now at an end. Holy shit. Remember how my video went viral? How could we forget? If you bring it up every chance you get. Just listen to this. I got enough views to win a competition. What did you win? An all expense pay trip to an island resort for five. Now I'm interested. Now yeah, I'm Mr. interested. Mr. Dumet says they're gonna send a limo and everything. This is gonna be so much fun. <laughs> I do, Matt. <laughs> Alright, so I think we did pretty well. Nearly everyone survived except for Aaron. I really don't think that there was... I mean, there must have been a way that we could have saved her. Um, because, you know, there must be a playthrough where you can have everyone survive. But I don't know. I didn't get that one. But, yeah. Um, that was very boring. <laughs> That was very boring in a lot of parts, but to be fair, I really feel like most of these games are. They have that really boring section, which is unfortunate because I'm sure there's a better way of... I don't know, maybe it's just me, but like, uh, there are a lot of very boring, slow parts, but... I don't know, I feel like um, Supermassive games are getting much better with writing characters. Like, I actually liked the characters in this game, and I said that with the quarry as well. Now, the bar's not very high, admittedly, the bar is very low. Um, usually the characters in these games are trash, you know, they're not great. But, yeah, I liked, I, I actually cared about the characters in this game and I was sad at the thought of them possibly dying. And um, yeah, so yeah, my first slasher game. So that was, that was interesting. I did have fun. I did enjoy it. But yeah, um, unfortunately a lot of it was very boring. I did cut obviously a lot of that out for you guys because um, that's boring, you know, to watch me walk around. You know, like, my, just, there's a lot of walking around and slow parts. But, yeah, it was good. I enjoyed it. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this series. And, um, yeah, let me know if you played the game and what you got. And, yeah, obviously some supernatural stuff there, which is, you know, common place for these type of games. There's always a supernatural element. So... Yeah, I was hoping that we could get some lore maybe with a curator, some answers maybe, but yeah, that's all very interesting as well. So yeah, thank you for watching and um, hopefully I will see you for the next series. Um, yeah, have a good day.